Hello, me fambu them. Una, how una they do, how una family they do. Well, a day for give una a brief summary and updates. This message they come all from the Sleba executive. And me as a youth coordinator, because na me been there in, uh, uh, in action for this month, October, so I'm asked to come and give a brief summary about all what will be done they do uh, from the beginning of this month till the 30th of this month. So we all know say when I see a lot of videos, few videos about our children, then they talk about their cultural identity. And the theme of this uh, uh, program, the Black History Month was Mion Salon. And we see how we begin to be the express, how lovely they enjoy to be part of Sierra Leone. And at the end of the day, in the middle of the month, we wanna see how we the post uh, the icons, ex those who have played important roles in history of Sierra Leone, like Shingbe Pierre, Madame Yoko, and Baibure, you name them. We wanna see how we they post for make people then debate about them. And that as well went on well. And we wanna also see where at the, uh, uh, will be they send some other videos, some other uh, uh, things for me, everybody stay intact and advert about the date of our uh, young generation, which was the 30th yesterday, how all those posts went on well. Well, yesterday was the final day and it was an amazing day for us. Our young generation and the youth of Sleba they came together yesterday and there was a great discussion, a panel discussion uh, between the young generation and our old Sleba members asking questions. And the, the theme, the title was uh, a cultural identity. And uh, the question one went on very well. The, our young generation were able to express themselves of how they feel how when they came in this country what they encountered which was very emotional and how they were managing themselves to fit into this the, the society and the role the parents play as like some parents we are um, a bit strong because of their culture and they were expressing how they felt some of them we are expressing how it was very frustrating for them because when they come from school they they want to they want their parents to be hard and that the parents say god forbid it something like that that created some emotional and, and uh, uh, problems to, for them so they were able to express themselves yesterday it was very very good because this is our motive for our youth to be able to express themselves so that they will come out of all this negativity or a mental health problem so this was this really came up and and it was dealt with amicably because parent them also express themselves about how they, they 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 think they can bring their own children up and they accept that they were shocked to hear from their children of waiting they don't be the expressive they feel said it was good for their children so those things came up and it was very very touchy well we came to conclusion. We asked, we picking them. We say, waiting na the good thing about where you go na work, like where una don't start for work. Una na big adults now. Una start for work. Waiting na the things them really. Una get from una home them and how una able to cope up for being in jobs. So they express that one as well to us. That number one, their their manners from their parents, from their cultural background. Well, it's great. That made them really to become strong people, to be able to stand on their own and to be able to stand firm. And all what they have undertaken now is becoming better. The way their own generation has been is now better than, is, is, is becoming now a bit better than our present youth. So we gathered a lot yesterday from there. But the outcome, the conclusion was, how are we going to amend this? for them as adults 
and the young gen and the youth at present for make we limit things and help them to be to fit in their society so parents then come up they said oh we will be able to we will try to fight uh, uh, understand your voices now listen to your voices and all this because they were crying they were it's all the all what i personally gathered was they were crying that their voices was not heard so the parents confirmed that well now they can work on that and that's one of the best thing that was one of the positive outcome of it and this other one is they talk about cvs they said if there's a way they can be able to have a, a opportunity to be doing cvs for them like trainings and that one we agree on it we are going to do cvs on the 15th of this month of this coming month 15th of november and they encourage not only the youth to be there even us as an adult parents because some of us not even know how to make cvs or update our cvs so it's a good opportunity it's going to be online it's not going to be uh, uh, walking to go there or paying any transport so this is a very good opportunity for all of us and so that we go support our children our youth on that day as well just like the way we did yesterday yesterday outcome was, was it was a great one because they were supported by their parents most of the parents came up and then the, the youth and the young generation also came up so see how amazing it was yesterday so that was done and we are going to do that that cv uh, uh training on the 15th then the other one is are they encouraged because we 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 not gonna do these things without money. We got for pay people then whether they can teach we for these things. So I they encourage the slaver community. Una we not pay una 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 subscription. Do ya una let we pay with subscription so that that money now we get for the use for do all these things so that we can support the youth and we can support other people apart from the youth in our community so do ya i they encourage any adults where you know say you're not able to pay your subscription yet do ya find out about how much you they pay and then you go pay then the other one is i they encourage again for make they do poems writing poems encourage our children to write poems and this is a very great thing you know poems are messages like yesterday we use them read poems. We go come see them on the maybe the youth, the newsletter. They they read poems about the Black History Month, and that was even the theme of how what we were talking about. So these are very amazing things for us to bring up. I they encourage anybody we go do and we go we go encourage a picking them, and even yourself as an adult if you want to write a poem, that is great. Okay, then the other thing is birthday celebrations. This month, we want anybody when I'm birthday in this November month. If you want your picture or anything uh, on 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 uh, on the newsletter, you are welcome for contact um, the those where they deal with the newsletters, so that 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 will be on on the newsletter. And this means we they celebrate with our 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 our. Uh, ourselves amongst each other so i encourage for that one as well make una start doing it so that everybody go go be feel happy and okay in our society or in our community well the other one is we don't do a plan because this uh, uh meeting yesterday the avf african voices forum uh, they send a youth coordinator uh, introducing self, he say he go want, he de demand, or he de ask for make we, I, uh, us uh, slab our youth for make we work with them. So he de find out who done are the youth and the youth coordinator, and he want in, in details so that we go work together how for raise fund, how to uh, 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 find funding so that we go able to support our youth. So I promised him yesterday that I'm going to send my email to him so that we can collaborate together and communicate together to make something possible for our youth so that is on the pipeline and uh, we have agreed to work together in partnership so that we go able to do something about our youth okay well the last but not the least is about i am very very pleased with all what went on this month i thank the parents 
because without them, they're not going to support their children. So that was very amazing to you, the parents. And the children as well, the youth, the young uh, generation, they were so excited when I was calling them about this. They said, we go, we're coming to join you. And the, the outcome of the meeting yesterday, the turn up was 34 people. That was very amazing. So do ya, we will continue the good work. We know say these people, these children are the youths, the future of tomorrow. Tomorrow when they get old, we are getting older. When we don't old, we need we picking them for make for make them uh, uh, take over. We 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 waiting self we we uh, legacy. So would I go be tomorrow our chairperson? So this is why we need to encourage them for make them be together uh, with us and make we able for bring them inside this labor community so that they will be able to know our in and out for their future okay thank you very much everyone i really appreciate it the turn up, the turn up was very great and i so 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 happy and proud of everybody thank you patricia's honor youth coordinator slabber